Hello, everybody, and welcome back to G4G on YouTube. I'm Napalm Dawn. Today, we're going to do things a little bit differently, and that is discuss how you can actually play Marvel Avengers Alliance on mobile devices, since there is no direct install right now for iOS and Android devices. I'm going to show you what we can actually do to kind of get around that. So for today's video, we're in a different room. I'm not in the PC room. I'm in my uh, media room, which has got my host of consoles and everything. There is a mini Commodore 64 over there on top of a mini PlayStation 1, an original Dreamcast down there. That is an original Pong device over there. There's my SNES. There's a retro console over there. Xbox 360. Anyway, okay, so now there's been a lot of people who ask, you know, how can we get Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux on a mobile device? And of course, the discussion in the videos is the answer is always no, you're not going to. And anyway, why would you? Because an Android device is the only one you could potentially put it on. Um, because you can sideload on Android devices without using the Google Play Store. However, the Android version was always the shittiest version of them all. The Android version and the Windows version with this, or I should say the Windows mobile version were the same and they were trash. The iOS version was okay, but clearly the best two were the Facebook version and the PlayDom.com version. Well, there is something you can do. So what you would need to do is you would need to get a Steam Deck like this. It's the Steam Deck that I grabbed off of eBay that somebody had modded to be the one uh, into a one terabyte edition. So you want to load up the Steam Deck and then hold down the power button for about two or three seconds and then you want to pick desktop mode. What I did is I took the Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux zip file, put it over to my computer, started playing it, and then I took that installation and I copied it to a networked gaming drive that I have, a, basically a Fire CUDA drive. And I put the Marvel, Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux beta. Well, this is actually 4.1. I should have put 4.5, but that's 4.1. And I put it on the drive. I then, through the USB C port up here, hooked up the dock that drive to the steam deck and sort of like a windows explorer the drive appears down here and then i just dragged the installation over to the steam deck i did not unzip it on the steam deck however that is something you could do if you're pretty good running around the steam deck os or the linux file system just download it from the mega link or another link and unzip it right on your steam deck and then once it's on the Steam Deck, you go over to the desktop version of Steam, which is down here. And you tap on it. You go to library. By the way, this is really, really hard to do without a mouse and keyboard when you run around in uh, desktop mode. So you go to library. You go to games, which is really, really tough to hit. You can use the, the little touchpads on the side. However, tapping on them actually doesn't bring it up. You go to add non-Steam game to the library. Uh, it's really, really tough when you're doing it with the fingertip. And these menus are so small. But once you go to games and you add non-Steam game to your library, you can just browse to the directory where your Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux folder is. And on the screen where you're adding games, down at the bottom over here, it'll say, you know, what kind of files do you want to look for? And originally it only looks for um, desktop files or basically what are Linux files. You have to set it. Okay, there we go. So you hit browse. And then you can see here, there's a bunch of stuff. You have to hit this file type and pick all files and then aim it at the Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux executable. 
once you do that, it will appear here on your uh, list of games. Once it's in that list, all you need to do is to go and hit the return to gaming mode icon. And then it will return you to the main way that a Steam Deck functions, which is the main Steam Deck OS instead of the Linux operating system. So you're going to see it'll go black over here. It will launch my boot up screen, which is from Cyberpunk, the animation. Yes, it's as painful as it looks. There's a, uh, a plugin called Decky Loader that allows you to modify aspects of your Steam Deck, including the go to sleep animation and the boot animation. Okay, so once it's in your library, if you haven't ever played it yet, see it's right there for me. But what you do is you hit the B and you use the controller and go over to library, hit A. Go to the non Steam tab and you will see your. Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux that you added in desktop mode. It's right over here. This is actually a version that is on my main PC. And you can see that if I do this, I can stream it from my main PC. So here is where you have a choice. If you want to keep your Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux on one computer so that you're not running multiple saves... You can put it on your computer and then always make sure Steam is launched and Steam is in a streamable setting. And then you can actually stream it from your main PC. This works on any device that has the Steam Link app on it. So if you have an Android device like this, and I think Steam Link might be available for iOS, I'm not too sure, but if you have a phone or a tablet, all you need to do is launch the Steam Link, this one right here, the Steam Link app that you download from the Google Play Store, and you can stream it from your PC if you import the executable to your Steam. So that means if you have any mobile devices, you can play Marvel Avengers Lines Redux anywhere in the house. However, We'll get to that in a second because it is a tiny bit, excuse me, a tiny bit trickier. This one right here is the one that's actually on the hard drive of the Steam Deck. So we're going to pick it. And the first thing you need to do, if you have it directly on the Steam Deck like this, you have to go to the gear and you go to properties. Go to compatibility. Hit the check for force, the specific Steam Play compatibility tool. And pick, pro, pick your most recent version of Proton. Once you do that, you back out, you hit play, and watch what will happen. So you'll see the Steam splash screen for a little bit. And you might think, oh, this isn't going to work. Nap was lying to me. But then, there's the Unity screen... There's one of the Redux random screens that you boot up to every time you boot the game. And then, here we go. You can hear it from the speakers up here. It's fully functional. And we're going to go ahead and, by the way, complete touch controls when you do it this way. You'll see here, look, I can hit Team. I can hit on Cap, I can hit on Black Cat, I can recruit her if I had the uh, money and everything. So this is completely touchscreen capable. So if I go and hit resume over here, I can get into combat. Combat's loading, there's Black Widow. That toxic spray always hurts like hell. Now, you can see the console errors are appearing down there. You just hit the little transparent close. And they go away. There's Hawkeye. Tap on Hawkeye's ability. And 
and we've got a kill. So yeah, this is great because this is completely touchscreen compatible. It is very similar to if you were playing one of the mobile versions way back in the day, except this is the Redux version. So it has all of the graphics, powers, and settings of the Facebook version. Okay, so everything is tap on this. You don't use any of these controls unless you're in the Steam UI. So this is what it's like if you're playing directly on a Steam Deck itself. When you're done, all you have to do is hit this Steam button. You get the overlay. Pick Exit Game. There you go. Now, you might sit here and say, hey, Napalm, the Steam Decks are kind of expensive. Not everybody can afford one of those. And I'm not even too sure I would want to ever get a Steam Deck just to play MAA remotely. Or, you know, just mobile, anywhere in the house. Well, if you have an Android device, and you have a computer that runs the NVIDIA GeForce Experience app, all you need to do is tell the GeForce app that the Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux executable is a game. And then if you get the official NVIDIA app or Moonlight, you can go ahead and launch it on your phone or tablet. So you'll see here, here are some games. There's a direct link to Steam right here. But these are games that I've told the NVIDIA app exist on my PC. And you'll see right here, is Redux. So now that's my desktop. And what would happen is, if I didn't quit it out properly, what would happen is the uh, Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux app would go ahead and launch. I uh, would be able to control it through the Moonlight app. Uh, with some somewhat decent touch controls. In all honesty, the best way to do it is to have something like the Steam Deck, put it directly on the Steam Deck, and play it natively. The only problem is, is that this version here on the Steam Deck will begin to become different than your version on the PC. It'll have different data. If you can find a way of unifying it, by like putting your save files in a cloud location or uh, like a share drive on your home network or something, then you would be able to get it done. But there are some ways of doing it. So your options right now are putting Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux on a PC, remoting into it with something like VNC or TeamViewer or any desk, and then playing it on your computer. You can import it into Steam as a non-Steam game and then play it anywhere that you can launch the Steam app. So over here on my Android tablet, I'll show you what that looks like. See, there's the Steam Link app. And if I hit start playing over there, I will get the big picture mode on my desktop computer and then there's Redux right there and I can play it from my PC. So all of these methods are good if you have Redux unified in one area and you want to keep the data the same and you don't want to lose your saves or have multiple saves out there. However, if you bring it natively over to the Steam Deck, you'll get that separation where you have the copy on your PC and then the copy that is on your Steam Deck and you'll have to find a way of uh, unifying the data. But that is where we're at now. If and when there could ever be an Android version, Android version would be the only version you would ever see. You would never see an iOS version simply because iOS is so locked down. The only way you would be able to install an iOS version is if you jailbreak the device. Android devices natively can do side loading, so it is entirely possible that potentially an APK can be compiled through 
um, a specific Android app that you can install on your computer and then compile a Unity project. I'm going to look into that, but right now, this is how you can do it. This is one of the best ways you can do it is on a Steam Deck and either stream it from your main PC or install it natively. If anybody's got a Steam Deck out there, have fun with it and let me know what you think. It was Napalm Don signing off.